Hey guys, I'm Shark, and in today's video, I'll be going over how to get to Diamond in just 3 hours with Diana, if you watch this video completely. I'll be covering all the concepts on how to win every single laning phase consistently, how to close games out with your lead, when to recall in lane, and general tips for climbing. We will be covering every rank from Silver to Diamond with timestamps in the description below. Thank you for watching, and feel free to smash the like button if you enjoy or find it helpful, and subscribe to see more like this in the future. Hey guys, I'm Shark, and welcome to the silver section of the three-hour climb to Diamond with Diana. Uh, we they they have one gold for, but typically it's like high silver, low gold. So I'm gonna just call it silver. High silver versus low gold, in my opinion, there's not much of a difference at all. At least in my experience, from climbing and watching. I don't know. I guess it's like the flip of the coin. Alright, so typically against uh, Pike. Ugh, I don't know why I hit the wave. He has a deadly level 1 with his E. And he took Hail of Blades. Yep. So we gotta be a little bit careful. Wait until like level 4 before we start to trade. But yeah, right now he should be playing aggressive, which he isn't. And, um... Yeah, I feel like Gold 4 is the rank most normal League players they get to, and then they just AFK. I don't want to say troll, but they just like autopilot in the rank since they get their victorious skin, they're chilling. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, I literally think it's a coin flip of if you... <laughs> if you get the players that actually want to try and not grief, but <laughs> I actually think mo like 80 to 90% of games are carryable in this rank. Karthus died twice. I have no clue. Good job, Karthus, I guess. Oh, he has the wave shoving. Again, he has a way stronger early game. He should be playing more aggressive, which he isn't. And now I actually have lane advantage. And that's just incorrect. Probably kill him here. Yeah, he just misplayed the lane completely. So yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, that's what I'm saying. It's like all games are carryable. Almost everyone doesn't know how to play the lane properly. They just kind of autopilot laning. A lot of this stuff is autopilot. Well, I mean, this is high silver after all. There's no like thought process behind what they're doing and. If you know how to play a single laning phase, you're just going to win it. Since your hypothesis, if you know more about the game, how lanes are supposed to go, where your power spike is, such like that. I mean, just happens like that. He should have played aggressive since level 1 and level 2. And then try to cheese me at like level 3. Even level 2. You, you'd be surprised. But and now we're going to AFK shove. We're going to AFK shove so he can't roam. And uh... Yeah, the build I'm going. Okay, it's kind of awkward. Yeah, yeah, this is the lowest section of the video, Silver. Yeah, yeah. So the build, the reason why I go uh, this domination build is because it's a... Uh, I forgot what the EUS player name is, but he literally only goes one shot Diana. With... Uh, well, I mean, we're taking Resolve, but you could also take Absolute Focus. Not my ignite, so I don't have a lot of uh, kill pressure. We can still win trades, though. Should wait for when he goes for a minion, but at the same time, yeah, Shaco's hovering. Shaco's hovering. Just wait in the bush. V wastes his time. He wastes his time. Okay. It's post six. You just shove in Rome. How to E out of that. I mean, eh, it's not the worst trade in the world. Eventually, we're going to recall, though, I have a feeling. He goes for the minion. If I had my E, I would, I would ER, but... Goes for a minion. Hm. 
I, I couldn't kill him anyways. I don't. It, it, uh, yeah, I couldn't kill him. Kind of a waste of an R, but it's fine. Because like in the end, I just can't kill him. And we hit him. Hovering topside since we don't know if Shaco's bot. Looking for a gank. Now we reset. This is where we really spike on Diana. Bone plating this game isn't bad. Or er, secondary tree. Because we're playing against Pike. Very bursty. Crazy uh early game assassin, and this will help. Which well, I mean he played the early game completely incorrectly. But yes. <laughs> this game absolute focus or bone plating would work. I like taking uh Absolute focus, the sorcery tree, when I'm playing against mages a lot. Since they try to scale, and with absolute focus, you have the ability to just stack up on AP. Super crazy. Bone plating, we're chilling. Get super crazy with AP and then just look for one shots. Got him again. Got him again. It's when they go for a minion. Throw your Q when they go for the minion and it works every time. Like literally, they don't like fake out minions. Got him again. This time I go for the kill. And that stun lasts for too long. This is horrible. I gave shutdown gold to Shaco. Oh man, that's so bad. This guy's six and oh. I'm getting Zonia second because they're heavy AD anyways. But yeah, the typical build is proto. Chub mm -mm -mm. and Rome. Are they looking at their map? Are they going to listen to pings? I'm not even gonna do anything. I'm not gonna flame. Like, I. And you have. Oh, well, okay, you're good. You're alive, so that's good. But it's like. Simple stuff, man. We have bone plating, so yeah, it's killer. In the assassin matchups. You probably just focus. He'll, he'll start to focus me. The Shaco. Oh, Ben Quinn dies. Might just yeet a roam. Could get counter. Uh, he just put up the thumbs up, so I don't know. Could be. Uh, could be unfortunate, but I, I think we're good. Yes! That's what I'm talking about. And Pike's. Uh, he sucks. <laughs> he sucks at shoving. That's so massive. Holy. Heal me up. Heal me up. What the? Let's go. That's what I'm talking about. And then Karthus takes mid wave, which is perfect. Gets Karthus fed. We just made a game winning play right there. Or it puts us able to win this game. You know what I'm saying? Without that roam. Yeah, that roam was so massive. We're level 9 to Shaco 6. So I don't think he can uh, one-shot us anymore. Or like, you know what I'm talking about. It's Shaco and he's going Lethality. That's odd. He's going Lethality and AP. Level 9 to level 7 mid. Shove and roam. It works every time. I'll get Sweeper next back. I have blue buffs, so I'll keep continuously tap the wave. Let's see what uh, top state is, bot state. None of them are really roamable. Top lane maybe though. Oh, he's rift. Oh, 
Might be a dive. Uh, yeah, it was kind of obvious. We saw him on award, but yeah, Cho'Gath respects. Nice. Bot lane's not fighting enough. There's no lane. Like, this is so... I'm not used to this. Usually Platinum Plus, they'll contest, they'll fight. Okay, they, they won't play like Nami, but... <laughs> uh, yeah. Like, usually a lane is going to be low, so you could roam after you shove. Oh, he walked back into me. Okay, that's nice. And I'll back away since I don't know where Shaco is. <clears throat> Need water. Morgana? Definitely makes Diana's job harder. As an assassin, but I think we're fine. Yep, yep, we're good. See if what he does. It doesn't do anything when I auto the tower. Top lane's warded. Ult's up soon. Ugh. I got a vision ward in this bush, though. Nah, that just dooms me. I need to gank through river. Otherwise, I just don't think it'll work. Probably E onto him. It's not worth. He's 0 3. It's not worth going 1 for 1. But I always have Pryo. This guy, he can't roam, and I'm destroying him in the CS game. And then, oh man, they seem so doomed. Like just me trying to contest a roam. Is if you're shoving as their bot, our bot. At least poke them as you shove. Oh, there uh, he roamed bot. This might be mid tower then. Oh, Shaco's here. I lied. It's not mid tower. He has ult, so I don't really think I can go for the kill. Slow paced game. I will say that. Karthus. They're going for Urgot. I don't even think it's that bad. Get him. Show him who's boss. Fittings are down. Again, I feel like. I don't even need to create these like massive, massive winning Romy style plays if I don't need to. Most of the times, like I'm high CS in the game. If you just play for high CS count, you just destroy the mid game. Because their knowledge on just how to play it is really bad. Oh, nice. Your W makes you untargetable now I have no mana it's quite unfortunate Let's see what we can do here Nami I mean we burned summoner spells but at what cost oh Karthus got him nice perfect I knew Pike was coming for the cleanup. Uh, doable. Doable. Ah, kind of. We helped get the Pike. But again, that was just really sloppy. I'll go. I'll definitely go Zonius.
Usually, you don't want to... F okay, yeah, this guy has no clue what he's doing. I mean, what do you think the rank is? Uh, typically, you want uh, not to take jungler's camps, but I think I might have to. Because Karthus isn't even pathing efficiently. To clear the camps. So I might have to just take them. We'll see. Oh. So doomed. If I want to go for Shaco, I need my Ignite. Might be a pick bot. Not with me though. This game just feels like a lot of empty times. Or I just can't do anything. Not with their jungler fed. I'd probably... In most games, you're going to be ahead of their jungler. And you could just one-shot them on repeat. Go, go, take it. Do something, man. Mid has prio. Just gonna take his camps. You're just confused. You're just confused. And that's okay. I think. The 900 smite. I didn't know which one was the real one. Got the one shot there. Oh, uh, that's shut down gold. This is rough. <laughs> I don't want to be a KDA player, but... Like, I'm actually trying to help roam, win, play for fights. They're just so behind. I'm being honest, Karthus may be win condition. As much as I hate this Karthus, the way he played early, might be win condition later on. Because Karthus, you press R, and you're good. Typically, anyways. Same with me. Obviously, I'll be carrying mid mid game, early mid. See, look, like farming efficiently, level ten to level thirteen. I think Karthus late game always useful. So we'll we'll see. How many of them are getting MR? Oh please, just stall off until like twenty five minutes, so I can get death cap and then void. I can't do anything to this crab got. Cho'Goth made him quite fed. Oh no. That's not good. Uh, the shutdown gold, so it's not the worst thing in the world. Alright. It's gonna be... It's going to be kind of like KDA farming for a while. Bro, I can't play against this. Um. Oh, I don't care. I don't care. There are always going to be throws in this rank. I can't play like this. I have no side to play towards. That's the problem, man. That's the legit problem. Oh man, usually every lane doesn't lose. If, if you say every lane loses every game, Shark, these are the type of games I'm in. Like, listen, buddy. I mean, this is like one once every, I wanna say like once every f five games, you'll be in one of these games. But even then, I'm still like, this is still carryable because I realize where I'm playing. A 96 farmed Ezreal by 20 minutes. This is where I'm playing. You know what I'm saying? You gotta have the mindset. But yeah, for real, usually one lane's able to get ahead, and you could just uh, play to just dive them over and over, snowball the game out of control, push leads. Might be able to even look for Shaco there. I don't know. Was a three-man dive top? Pog, pog, doable. That's so doable. 
Didn't think it'd, you know, get out of control to that extent, but... Alrighty. Triple kill. I mean, I, I guess Nami pressed W, so that's nice. Still winnable. Definitely, definitely need Void Staff, though. Karthus will be massive, trust, trust. Karthus will be massive in these fights. But yeah, for real, our 80 damage is lacking. Like, I don't care if I lose. I'm uploading it anyways. Reason being, it's that's how you're supposed to play it regardless. You know what I mean? And all games aren't won. I'm not going to play for the... It might take me like three tries where the game is perfect. They don't forfeit at 15 and such. Where you go 30-0 and 0 and it's all fun and games. But, you know, I wouldn't do that. I'm trying to make things realistic. And if realistic isn't fun, it isn't fun. <laughs> We're playing League. Honestly, I don't even care. It kind of makes sense why some people just script their stuff in custom games. I mean, I don't, I'm not even against it. Some people literally prefer to just watch, like, see what I'm saying? You just one-shot him. Some people, someone commented, they just prefer to watch quote-unquote anime heroes who always win games no matter what. And like, that's where they get their enjoyment from. Hey, you do you. Should've just one-shot him. Damn. I'm so Popega. I thought they got him low. That's my bad. To overcommit. Yikes. To overcommit. <clears throat> I just don't do that. Like, the game's not fun. If, if everything's just 30 and 0. Like, that's not even going to happen to you. That's the thing. Like, I, I don't know. Maybe that's just me. Like, every game, you don't go 30 and 0. It is more enjoyable to, to see, though. Okay, like, 30 and 0 is crazy. Like, I, like that's just you, you stomping, you know what I mean? Like, 30 and 12. You know what I mean? It has to be like a, a back and forth. Stomps are just stomps. They're just like, eh. But yeah, uh, their bot lane has no MR. What we could do... Shaco's in our jungle. And they're deep warding. Wow, this game's unfortunate. Didn't expect them to ward so well. Usually you could just get picks in the jungle. We got flash and E. That's so massive. Should be huge. Oh, they're focusing Shaco. Me getting hit by R. I don't. Oh no, they're gonna shred me. Cringe. Because they're focusing Ezreal. Or I mean, they're focusing Shaco, which isn't. I mean, it's not bad. Do we lose the fight though? We have Quinn. Oh man, the mechanics. That was how you actually play team fights, though. Yeah. Just sucks. <laughs> Just sucks. <laughs> because, like, if your backline is fed, if they deal a lot, a lot of damage and keeping them alive is the main objective, go ahead. Focus the Urgot, play front to back. Focus whoever's closest to the ADC. But if your ADC is behind and their bot lane deals semi most of the damage, you just have to go for their backline. Yeah, forget it. I'm uploading it. <laughs> Everyone, honestly, like, <laughs> I'm losing in the silver section. I don't care. Psych. I still think it's winnable. 
I'm not going to lose. Okay? Write that down. Uh, it's not worth to just go for a random pick. Hope my team doesn't get caught. Alright, so usually... <sighs> shoot. Quinn gets caught again. Usually you shove out bot, but I don't know if these people will just randomly fight. We have a man down, so we can't. Or it's not ideal if we look for a fight. Shea goes topside though. Oh. Doomed. Maybe it's doable. I have to go past Urgot though. And that's like... You know what I'm saying? Like, How am I supposed to do that? It's worded. We're definitely contesting, though. I will say that. Hit him. Just kill the clone. Kill the clone. What? W? Oh, they're actually taking it. They're actually taking it. I feel like this is a throw more than anything else. Oh, that's a nice uh, box. Yeah, this is a throw. They're throwing. It's like no shot. I'm gonna go for the ER. Nice. Playing for just important targets. And then now we can focus Urgot, but again, it's like. Nice. Now we can go Baron. I think. Unless my guy randomly dies. Nice. I knew it. Perfect. That would have actually killed me. Crazy. <laughs> I'm out, I'm out. <laughs> what is this build? Oh, most of the times they go like Imperial Mandate. This guy is crazy. I think it's still doable, but this is full AP Morgana. What is this? Hidden OP pick. Yikes. Yikes, man. Where do I even go now? Anti heal is probably not worth. Going the one shot bursty builds. We have Zonius. I don't even know what to go. Maybe Nauseous for side landing. We'll give drag. It's fine. I think now we win fights though. That's the good news. And maybe I messed up with this item choice. You know, <clears throat> I don't think Cosmic Drive is bad. I think I might have to get that. But no, typically Diana is a one shot mage. <clears throat> so, Lich Bane's not bad. Everything's situational. Don't fight. I need to adapt. If they fight, that is supposedly on me. Because normal people shouldn't fight that, but I'm playing in this rank, so if they fight, that's on me. They'll fight because they want to fight. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, you just gotta take responsibility. Uh. Yeah, we're good. We could probably contest that hardcore. Like, kill the Urgot right here. Need an ER. And I flashed into the queue. That's such a. God, man! God, such a throw. It's like a mini throw. Alright, we got heals. Probably warded. I'm trying to play for a massive AoE ulti. We got a vision ward here. He's gonna Q. It's gonna be a, oh, it's gonna be such a bad box. Focus Pike, and then now we'll go into their back line.
Could be a kill. Is a kill. Forgot's top. Weird. That's how we play these fights. It's like a mix of front to back and trying to dive their back line. We're trying to get like a... Yeah, oh, that's a good call. No, they're too low. They're too low. <laughs> nah, no, it's not good. Not good. It's like a mix of trying to go for their back line and just play for our back line. Ish. We play in like the middle of the fights, ult and then Zonius. Yeah, I think I'll just go Lich Bane. Will be a pretty massive buy. Alright. <clears throat> just go mid. We see, like, we turned unwinnable game to winnable. That should be a free pick. Nice. Or got falls off late game. Now we could shove in mid. It's always shove in mid before you look for objectives. That way they either have to contest mid wave. Oh, Nami got caught. See, they get caught left and right. I didn't have my uh, my Q. Where's Shaco? The dooms. It's a Mal. I admit, I misplayed that. I'll admit it. It's uh, Pike stacking MR. Who's pinging? It's a Pike stacking MR, so it's kind of hard to kill him. All right. It's a pick. Picks before objectives key. Take that too. Because now we can contest drag with complete ease. Oh? Get him, Shaco, so I could one shot you. Oh, Shaco's going for Quinn. Quinn dies for the many, many times. Oh, that's the clone. I'm clowning around. Who gets Edge of Night and AP on Shaco? What? One shot. Bro. Oh, such a headache. I can't play for anyone. Like, actually, this is where Diana's damage falls off a bit. I'm, a, I'm all the way snowballed, so I guess it doesn't matter as much. But, like, I can't play for anyone. That's the issue. That's why this game wasn't an easy win. <laughs> There's no top, mid, or jungle, or bot ahead for me to constantly roam to. Now we're just playing for team fights, supposedly. But they're rough. Front to back, do we win front to back team fights? I think we actually outscale them. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, I think we outscale them. Urgot's a problem to try to kill for their front line. But anyone else, they're pretty one shotable from all of us. This is probably an uh, easy win. Not looking at it. Team comp wise, I think our team's got this in the bag. Yeah, I'm on it. I'm on it. Play for it. Just shoving in mid. So that way someone shows mid. Most likely. I'm here. Jago might come for the steal. Alright. Take it. Very well played. Oh, shoot. Oh, man. I swear. I pressed E. Oh, it's this lag from Riot Games. Brain dead company. There we go. Ergot got me with this snipe. Oh, 
the E, man. It didn't go through. It's fine. They can't take Baron. Like, let me check. No one gives shutdown gold either, so it's an even trade. We got drag, so it's it's worth. Let's go mid. What are these idiots doing? <sighs> I can't! My pings are on cooldown! What are these idiots doing? Like, dude, this- Ah, man, they don't listen to pings. You have ult? Damn. That sucks. Joe got definitely outskills Urgots. Look at him. Look at this raid boss Cho'Gath. Get him! Raid boss. Absolute raid boss. I should have pressed W. Absolute raid boss. Now, I can't, yeah, I can't get low before a fight. Typically, the goal is to sweep and then flank from the side onto their back line. Or just get into places where there's no vision and look for picks. Get his uh, thingy off. One shot. That's so massive. That's so massive. Like, literally, we can go Baron. Look at that. That's Zonius. Massive. Should be dead. Perfect. That's what I'm talking about. Just go into the rivers, get picks. Turning unwinnable game to winnable. Just got to keep a strong mental. It should be top inhib and like Baron. But I don't know if they'll rotate quick enough for Baron. They have to like think. They have to think for like 12 seconds before they make a decision. Nice, man. Yeah, that's Baron and top. Oh my god. So massive. Let's go. Diana's exceptionally good in lower ranks because of this. She just is really good at fighting. Knew it. Oh, I'm so sorry. No, I killed the Quinn. Ish. Because my damage is AoE, so I couldn't stop it. I kind of killed Arquin, but at the same time, I didn't. I think that would have happened regardless. I don't like selling my tier twos, but it's a thousand AP, a lot of on hits. I feel like Noshers will be good for Urgot. At this point, we could play front to back. Yeah, they're all stacking MR. We can play front to back. And we'll win these team fights with Cho'Gath, Karthus. We outscale them. I cannot turn back. Like for bots, someone can go mid. I don't expect them to know macro. No one's going to go mid. Or just Clown Fiesta. Someone's going to be farming camps while we're fighting. But I think we should be able to carry it regardless. Urgot's top lane. All right. I would just play for push with raid boss Cho'Goth. Yep. Raid boss Cho'Goth. We got Banshee's Veil off him. Oh, that sucks. Alright, we don't want to fight. Not everyone's grouped. But at the same time... I don't think drag is that important. I actually think we can end off this push. Yeah, I actually think we can end off this push. I don't think drag is that important. Why is Nami getting caught mid? Oh my god, this is giving me AIDS. My R takes some time to cast, so I wouldn't have killed Ezreal anyways. 
it takes like 0.5 seconds or something along the lines of that. And yeah, I think that should be the game. Like, comment, subscribe. 40 minutes game. Woo! So much time. Wowzers. Yeah, it should be the game. We got Noshers and Elixir. Like, look how fast we shred these towers. Thumbs up. Fun game. They're tilted. I'm out. See you in the gold section. Hey guys, and welcome to the gold section. It's around gold four. Section of the climb to diamond in two to three hours. I don't know how long it'll be, but. Yep. We're playing in gold rank where. I don't know. Honestly, it's the mid game. It's a. Laning phase. I mean, sure, there are things you can improve on. Obviously. But yeah, mid game. Mid game is the reason why all games are winnable in gold. Like even if the score is four to twenty-four, throws happen too often. People get caught. People go one v three. Give shutdown gold. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. But in this lane, we're playing against Yon. You know, pretty medium difficulty matchup. And I opted for the scaly runes, like usual. Sorcery secondary tree. Not bone plating. Hmm. It's actually pretty good on his part to trade me as I'm going for the wave. I'm just trying to play up until level. Uh, it's either like level 5 or first recall. Since Yon, he gets countered if you have burst. Or when you have burst. Diana doesn't really deal a lot of damage early on. Nice trade. It's actually pretty good from him. I'm trying to back with like 350 gold or more. We don't beat him right now. Or we shouldn't. There's his bone plating. It's like short bursty trades. He has his W, which ends up tanking most of our damage, right? All right, he just griefed it. He misplayed. Um, yeah, okay. It's like I have a theory of how the lane should go and when I should win, but he just griefs it by tanking two tower shots. Don't worry. That's what I'm talking about. It's like, okay, laning phase, they're not the worst, but... Mid game is where it's it's a whole flop. They just make mistakes here and there. They have no theory behind laning phase. If you know lane matchups, you'll be on the up and up. But yes, now Yon should get folded by us, hopefully. Sad news is I recalled and I can't help a Mumu if Kane tries to fight him. Kane probably wins right now. No, actually, I lied. A Mumu. Post the rework where he has two Qs, he is nutty champion. Er, or he's a he's crazier, right? He's better than he was before. Like he was so weak early game. Anyone beat him. But now Wow, you guys 1v2 Garen and die. Damn. That's kind of sucky. But now we want to shift focus from last hitting. And just trying to farm safely to shoving the wave with our Q along with, you know. Oh, I try to hit him with that. Trying to hit him with Q. Kane's full clearing. I think he probably full cleared already is going towards Krugs. Could be wrong. Pretty sure that's my prediction. And they got Shago support, so we got to worry about that too for us getting ganked. I knew he was going to do that. I don't want to play for... Usually I don't want to play for kill unless I have Ignite. 
Hm. Da. Ah. Sucky. One time. He should be using his W more. I don't know why he's not using his W. Oh. Kane. We saw him. Hit level six and then all in him. Ah. Oh, he's not too dumb to step up. Fun time, fun time, fun time. Hit him with another one. Wait for ignite. Make sure make sure we get the kill. Psych! He griefs it again and he loses another big wave, so the Lane is completely over. Kane can't kill us because he doesn't have his mega form. I think that should be two tower platings. I'm gonna queue for some attack speed here. Drop that. Now we have two levels on Yon. Oh! 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 Oh my god, I didn't even, didn't get the gold. Oh man, I'm so sad. Yeah, the lane is over. Yon has griefed it. Realistically, if he didn't give us first blood, we wouldn't have killed him pre-first back. Recall, come back to lane, play for the shove, land the Q onto him, and push the wave out at the same time poking him with our Q, all laning him, or looking for roams. That's how ideally the lane should look for Diana if Yon doesn't int early game. So there you go. But you know. Maybe I could just deny him CS. It's like the off occasion. Nah. Diana as a champion, just AFK shoves and roams. He used his E, so we can long trade him. Next time. Going for Scuttle, probably. Might try to gank me through the wall. Oh, he had bone plating. It was a bad. And I could just walk here. I knew he was hovering, so I wanted to play more safe. Good thing we made Yon so far behind, he can't do anything. That sucks. I can't even get anything off this recall. Oh, man, I would have stayed. Oh, wait, actually. <laughs> It's going to crash. All right, it's bouncing back, but in the end, I think Yon will lose maybe three minions. Might look for the roam here. I mean, they spotted him on the ward, so this really shouldn't have happened. Wait a second. Oh, wow. I thought I, I swear I could have sworn. Yeah, <laughs> nice one, Amumu. Well played. I'm losing mid wave. Oh, that sucks. Thought I could get more. It's not the worst thing in the world, obviously, but it does suck. Diana's like a. My, in my opinion, especially in the lower ranks, she's like the. Oh, they switched. I have to play for shove and roam now. Since they switched. Gotta love the gold players. Jesus Christ. Didn't expect that switch to happen. And let me guess. Swi Singe dies. Look for the dive. I can't play for mid anymore. Are you freezing? Look for it. Nice. I can't play for mid. Uh. We cannot play for mid, which really does suck since this guy is uh, pretty juiced. He used Q so he doesn't have movement speed. He should be dead here. Is 
It's worth the flash since this is shutdown gold. Nice! No! Oh man, this champion. It's because he has a lead. Like a hard lead. Oh man, I cringe so hard at this... At this performance. Of the 1v2 top where Garen gets a double. Got him. Tower dive him. Tower dive him. He's dead. Nice. And that's shutdown gold. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Don't play for drag. It's cool. Play for tower. Should be tower. Then I can start roaming like crazy. Alright, guys. Uh, what's it called? Funnily enough, I recorded... I recorded the... I recorded the platinum section before I recorded the gold, right? And let's just say... I was I was off my game in that platinum game-ish. Kind of. Yeah, I was. I was so tired. I was so tired. <laughs> and I'm uploading it anyways. <laughs> but yeah this is yeah this is ideal this is ideal shark right here I cannot turn back. oh we could look for it you got shark you got shark here oh that's a nice one you guys got some? Nice. Play for a uh, dragon here. Garen's here? Oh, what? What is this guy doing? What is this guy doing? <laughs> ah! I don't know what this guy's doing! <laughs> oh my god! What am I watching, man? They're all- they're heavy AD, so I can get Zonia second. I don't expect much. They're gold. Their decision making is what? It, it is, uh, like, their hypothesis, their decision making is not even a thing. You know what I'm saying? Most times they don't think two steps ahead, three steps ahead. What's next after this recall? Shove, base, crash, none of that. It's just playing the game, so. And now I'm just shoving and roaming. Since I can't kill Garen, Singed is winning top against the Yone, which is pretty pog. You got that? I got this guy. Noise. And I get the assist from the cane. I mean, from the misfortune. Do I have a all chat? Oh, I missed a cannon. Bro, I missed like 20 cannons in the platinum game. Oh my god. <laughs> Oopsies. Try to look for this. He's dead. He's AP, so that's gonna hurt like so. Oh man, that's gonna hurt. I don't wanna give shutdown go to Garen, so we'll just recall here. Mumu takes drag for scaling, it's not bad. Bum, 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 bum. League of Legends is fun. By the time I release this, um, season 12 on the PBE should be out by October 5th ish, is when it comes out. I can't wait, man. Oh my god. Trying to get content on a PBE is so tragic, though. Like the quality of the games. Like the players are really toxic. <laughs> that's what, that's one thing I will say. They're so toxic. Oh, but I will do it. I will do it. And I don't know if if you want to be in the PBE games for when the PBE changes season 12 does come. Pull up to the um, Discord. 
where I guess I'll do like, hey, anyone want to be featured in a video? Join the Discord. Or, you know, I'll just, custom game for the PB. Just the PB. I pretty much never do customs unless they're for the PBE because PBE is uh, tragic. See if we can look for a dive here. Oh. He ulted. Look for the dive. Look for the dive. Look for the dive. Look for the dive. I'm flashing. <laughs> oh, Draven, the gold mechanics. <laughs> oh my god, this rank is so funny. Oh man. But yeah, I can't play for mid again. Amumu won't gank. It's easy kills. Well. Yeah, no, it's a Moo Moo. He needs to gank mid, otherwise I can't play for it, and it's just better for me to just steamroll bot lane. Now bot lane goes mid, I go bot, and then we'll just play towards vision control and objective taking. Oh, nice. A Moo Moo's pretty cracked. I don't want Morellos. I really don't. But someone does. Someone needs it. It's gone. Don't fight. It's gone. It is gone. I have Zonia's. Pretty pog. Oh, I buy amp when I'm trying to get death cap. Usually Lichbane is in bots. On Diana. She just uses her AP. Oh, that's Garen bots. Garen is bots. We will start to go mid. We fight wherever Garen isn't and we always shove in a wave. So that way Garen has to react to a wave. And we play off just fighting around their team since they're weak and then off of Making sure we're not fighting around the Garen. And just like that, he's losing minions bots because he came mid and he accomplished nothing. Who just disrespecting me taking that cannon? Hmm. I'm not gonna fight until we have anti-heal. Which we do. Nice. And it takes camps really well. Which is pretty pog. Because they're passive. It's pretty busted. Not busted, but you know. Oh, we got him. We got him. You, you just gotta be cracked. In low ranks, if you want to carry every game, you just gotta be cracked at League of Legends. Know what I'm saying? got to be cracked at the game. All right. It's like some people were like, "Shark, I get bad teammates every game." Look at the silver section what teammates I had. Literal 1v9. That's what you got to do. You want to escape, get out away from these 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 animals. You have to be cracked 100% at League of Legends. All right? Write that down. You cannot mistake. If you die once, they can end the game off that. In the games where you are literally 1v9. Just know that. Like, you can't make a mistake. You are the team sometimes, you know? All right, this, this is just ridiculous. I am 1v... Wanting Garen. Oh man, this is. That's a clone. Get this guy. Oh. Stun him. He's stunned. Alright, alright. <laughs> okay. Alright, this is uh, again another 1v9. 
Jesus Christ. Holy, they're stacking MR because I have... Uh, I, need to, I don't want to sell my Needleless. I don't. I need to uh, avoid. Did our AD just die instantly? What happened? What did it happen? That's so tilting. Kane gets shot down. No shot that reduces only 121. That tilts me. Diana, did you get caught by Garen? Did you lose lane versus Garen with a gank? I didn't get caught. Shut up! Oh my god. Low elo, these piss lows, man. They're so garbage. Did you get caught? Yeah, I'm definitely the problem when you're horrible at the game. Shut your mouth. Schmuting. Both of you. Clowns. Literal dogs. I don't know why they're typing to me like... What? You good? I literally am the reason why you guys have the chance at winning this game. Obviously, you'll win because I'm on your team. But, like... Now, these, these are the fights I'm talking about. Like, they're fighting 2v4, to be fair. They're going to lose that. We're going to get a solo lead on top of that in the side lane. Yeah, they take Baron, actually. If Garen shows, then... Okay, Garen's going to show there. That's going to be bot in hip, so it's worth... It's gonna be bot in him. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Even if you all die and give Baron bot in him plus my Rabadons. I'm level 13 too, so I can get picks left and right since it's gold anyways. They get caught 24/7. Oh, you guys stop Baron. Okay, that's that's pretty advanced. Not gonna lie. Take bot inhib. Oh, yeah. Bet, bet, bet. But Mumu's dead. That sucks. It's clowns. Did you get caught by Garen? And then I muted him. And then Mumu probably responded. Like, I agree with, with, with Singe. Like, no, you're terrible. Shut your mouth and get carried. Thank you. I don't know what these people... <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't know what these people, these people are doing. Let me get my Rabadons. I'm 1v9 this game. Alright. Don't fight. Do need to uh, avoid stuff though. So badly. I can one-shot their backline. What should happen is I one-shot their backline, and then Morgana Draven should shred their frontline. But since he has a Mortal Shield Bow and the Collectors, that's more for squishies, anyways. But uh, I think that's actually the right build, though. Kakin Slayer doesn't really. S it, 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 it's doable, but life steals what Draven wants for the one v ones and such. He doesn't auto attack a lot. Know what I'm saying? It's a box. Two boxes. Three boxes. Four boxes. Oh, five boxes. There we go. Now look here. Like I said, gold, land of, you get picks 24 7. Right? We could probably fight that. Being real. That's kind of grief for me. Boom! Oh, Kane's still alive. Hmm. Uh, I don't. Yeah, uh, just. It's kind of sloppy. I get a pick and then I try to go for their back line. But I missed the Q. I feel like that's the only way I could have played it a little bit better. 
I still have flash, no ignite. Yone died. Oh, I thought he lived. Hog. I could take top tower. Obviously, I'm doing the most damage. Obviously. Oh man, it's storming. Hopefully it doesn't take out my power. Please. Play for drag? Oh, it's not even soul, so I don't really care. Wait, actually, there's two top, and they're both squishy. Alright, we got one. Yeah, okay, this, this is a void staff, too. So now we can actually deal damage to everyone. Bot lane shoving in, we get drag, pug pug. <clears throat> like guys don't ever ping me in your life do not ever think me the carry is incorrect this type of mental you guys have to have all right if you want to climb if you want to literally 1v9 i'm talking to you the person who says i am stuck because of my teammates in bronze silver iron gold have this mental if i die i'm the whole team is dead i will take the resources i will make the picks i will make the plays and i will carry write that down all right i'll just go like this and then go like that just one shot you gg easy it's too easy you know what these people are on but it's the game I'll see if my team can end. It's a social experiment. Because I know I'm going to win anyways. See if my team can end. Test their limits. Garen's alive. Can they do it with all those minions? It's slight work. It's the game, guys. Just attack the Nexus. There you go, team. That's what I'm talking about. Alright, now let me 1v9. We got one. Oh no, Garen's alive. I lied. I can't 1v9. Alright, I'll just Zonius here. They're mad. Mad? They are mad. <laughs> they are mad. That's the game. Garen's tilted off his mind. Look at him in base. Garen, are you mad? He's mad. <laughs> you fuckers are mad people <laughs> that's why you play league two so that way you have fun moments like this when you know they're mad and it's because of you whose mans is this i'll make chat bigger so you guys can uh, indulge yourselves in such uh mid elo comedy i think gold is mid elo you guys, you, you guys are like top 25% of the your whatever region you're on. And that's pretty good in my opinion. Congrats. Enjoy your victorious skin. I'm being honest. It took me... Well, it took me a while. It took me like 3k games. 3k games. Give or take. From the time I started playing League. Like a... Boom. Dead. <laughs> Bye, <Kess. laughs> we got him good. We got him good, guys. All right, guys. That will be the gold section. It was a it was a fun time. I really did enjoy it. Like, comment, subscribe. Uh, I'll catch you in the platinum. And then after that, the diamond section. Oh. There you go. Uh. <clears throat> 
Hey guys, I'm Shark back playing in the platinum section of the climb to um, diamond in two to three hours. I don't know how long four games will take. Usually, I don't know. I think the, the silver section was 40 minutes. Crazy. So I don't know. This video might be three hours, might be two. We'll see. But yeah, this rank. It's interesting. I feel like everything, it's so awkward. Because laning and macro, they're both good, decent. Not decent as in like top tier, like best in the world, but like decent as in you could play it pretty pretty well compared to everyone from bronze to platinum. Like solid, right? Like you're laning and such. But they're not like the best in the world. Lane matchups are key because if you know how to play lane matchups, that's how you consistently get leads, which typically, you know, doesn't happen in platinum since it's platinum after all. So like right here, we have burst on Kiana after first back. Kiana can typically cheese early game first blood. So we just, we're going to play really safe and reactively. We don't want to get first blood cheesed. We just want to play far back farm until amplifying tome slash dark seal and chill but yeah we opted for these runes i could have opted for resolve if i really wanted to but i feel like playing for the mid game scaly absolute focus whatever the uh, uh gathering storm yeah, that, that route is probably better playing this lane kind of like echo you just farm long distances with your Q and she's playing this lane incorrectly since she should be playing more aggressively literally she could combo me up so well all right I W'd there so it's fine oh this, yeah this is just so incorrect I have shove now which means I'll be beating her in levels on the shove I'll win trades because the my wave is bigger I get a crash Impossible reset, or I'm able to help. Oh my god, I'm griefing with that cannon. Or I'll be able to help Trundle out Scuttle, but at the bare minimum, I get deep vision. So, ready? Gianna played this lane completely, just terribly. Hmm. I just cheat a recall here. I'll just cheater recall. They get first blood. The sad part about cheater recalling is I can't help my. Yeah, that's sad. I can't help my jungler. That's scuttle. But it's good for me at least. Oh yeah, that's doomed. That's doomed. Sag. Oh, she's staying. So that's again another incorrect move. Well, uh, it could short term. Short term, I think it's actually pretty bad. Yeah. Depends what she's trying to do with this stay. It's like right now I just beat her in items and uh, tempo. Nice, another kill top. Holy. The top camp. See, so yeah, I just win. I, uh, I don't get a kill. Well, that's okay. At least we're at 35 HP. There we go. The two potions. She eventually has to recall. Grief. So grief. I'm holding her in lane. I know J4 can gank, but oh, we're fine. Let's be careful. It's not a cannon, so if I shove this in. <clears throat> J4 can come mid right now to hold it. If I shove this in, we'll be ahead in uh, XP and gold. Don't want to play for tower plating. That's kind of an overstay. 
Yep, we'll be ahead. Nice. So we hit level six first. <clears throat> Sucky part is... Why does Kaisa have no items? What? It's not a glitch. She's saving up for BF sword first back. What is going on? Nice. It hit me so hard there. It's not playing aggressive enough. I will destroy her. Gotta be careful for J4. I don't know where this guy is. That's what I'm talking about. There you go. There you go, Kiana! Show me some. Show me some good. But yeah, you never want to like hold the wave on your side or freeze against a Kiana. Because mainly what she tries to do is shove and roam. That's what she's good at. Oh, there's ult. Or she's she's moving topside. Oh, she didn't hit me with the second Q. That's massive. Massively good. And we hit her on the way out. Nice. Can't really look for a kill unless we have our ignite. Kind of want to go bot side though. She just used shield. Might be like a one for one or... Alright. Kind of griefed it. I kind of griefed it. No, I missed the Q. Can you go for it? What is Kiana doing? Oh my god. No follow on the roam? <laughs> I love these players. <laughs> Holy. That's so grief. Oh man. He doesn't follow the roam. That could have been like one, maybe two kills, including me. I missed the Q on the Lulu. Alright, so right now she's probably ahead if I had to guess. Maybe like 200 XP. Two tire play. Oh yeah, she's she's that that roam's probably more for the team than it is for me. So my bot lane's more ahead. The bot lane's more ahead. We have to play for bot side. Because we didn't get kills from that. Got no kills. We burnt Psalms. She's not roaming. Interesting. Counterplay to Diana, if she wins 1v1 in these lanes, is she has no mobility and she always shoves in waves. So if you get someone like... Uh, someone that just ganks. Yeah, I'm surprised J4 doesn't show mid. Wait the seconds. No, that's doomed. Nice. See, now we just play for bot side, and I'm pretty sure we're fine. We're in the clear. Alright, she has two refillables. Oh, we're the same in level, basically. She's a little bit up, but she should be landing more Qs. Like when she goes for a minion. That's what I'm talking about. It's like Diana, it's that mid game. She should have played more aggressive early on. She really should have. I don't know why she didn't. So she just misplayed the lane completely. Actually, she just misplayed the lane. And how I could have misplayed that is if I played more aggressive early. Well, no. Okay. I can't. It's platinum. She misplayed so hard. Like, I didn't even want to fight her. If I overly fought her early game, she might have been able to get a first blood on me. She didn't even play aggressive. Or, what's, not that. She didn't even... 
She let me shove in the wave. I don't know what... Let me slow push the wave. I was so confused. But who knows? What? She just flew in the air. Uh, One thing I will say... Is... She might be able to play team fights better. Maybe. But I doubt it. I need to scoop the side lane for some farm. And maybe one shot Kaisa. I need my R. Yep, keep the slow push up, buddy. Keep the slow push. I need my R. Do 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 do. What's up? The words of Tyler One. Sup sup. Nice dodge on my Q. She used her movement speed ability to dodge it. Nice. I wonder if they're flaming each other. Platinum's like the most just... These are angry people. To make it to plat, you need like... A lot. And I'm talking like 4k games to get to plat. In my opinion, if you just start playing League, to the time you hit plat, you've probably played like 4,000 games of rank. I'm being real. That's most plat players. You know, there's like the gifted... You know, General Sniper. I got out of Platinum in... Two months. Because I'm General <laughs> Sniper, but... You know, the average... Including me, I started playing in season five. Took me till like season seven to make it to plat. And by then, I played four thousand games because I only played this game. So yeah, I know J four is there, so I just wanted to recall. We could play for drag. Trundle's playing for rift. I don't think that's bad because you could take tower platings. We just can't give them drag here. You can play for mid or top because tower platings are still up. It's more of a gold lead than a stat lead. So it's preference on how you want to play the game. Rift is more fast paced. Drag is more slow paced. I think we can take both. So we're fine. She's slow pushing. Oh, wow. Such tactics. Very good player, Kaisa. Very good player. I'm going to show you how good of a player you are when I just destroy you. I even misplayed! Call me Soraka. No, I... <laughs> Bro, Kaisa walked like a bot. I'm not kidding, she walked like a bot. I tried to predict where she was going as such, but she just walked in straight lines. Like, what was that? And she still dies. Maybe this is Platinum. This has been Platinum ELO all along. It's just these players. Yikes. That's all I gotta say. I just, yeah. I'm just, I'm stronger now. Oh, shoot. Guys, I had stealth. Alright, let's just base. I can get like boots and amplifying tome. That, that tilts them a lot. Because that gets people... <laughs> Who do I report? <laughs> Everything is just so weird. There's no game plan. Like, J4? He could have ganked mid. I believe he could have. I played safe so that way I could get... Uh, I played safe so that way I could get zero ganks. There we go, I gotta sell him Arigato. Not many junglers do that. In all ranks. I don't know why, but... It is what it is. I just destroy Kiana. Unless she full combos me, but I think I have two levels on her. I know, right? Look at this Jinx! A jungler giving blue buff to mid lane? What? Is this Korea?
But yeah, it's that one roam we did. It just snowballs bot. Is this ranked? Good, good question, really. Who's holding them hostage, anyways? Might make this a version two. Might play two games in plat. Missed the cannon. As poor usual. I don't know. I think I'm playing draft or something. I don't know what this is. I have to play safe. I don't know where J4 is. He's never showed up. I will die. Uh oh, well, Kiana. If I can't kill you, I'll just take your jungler's camps. I'm against walls. Very much so doomed. Ay ay ay. That's my bad, I guess. <sighs> yeah, there's top towers. Play for that. In what world do we just not have push though? Are they just not worried about mid or top? Just to put two mid for two bots? Yeah, just group top. I don't know. I don't know. There just shouldn't be two bots. There shouldn't. Is Mordekaiser stopping you from taking tower? Like, what is going on? I'll cream the Kiana 1v1 though. They would not listen. Even right now. Shall we? Nah, no, she's just gonna dash away from my Q. Free drag maybe? Because basically, what happens early game, mid laners typically are just so important for the 2v2s. They can make game winning roams. Like, they, they are the role, right? For making plays and such. Mid game, honestly, junglers can't control the mid early and late game, in my opinion, <laughs> because you know, jungles are broken rule and such. But bot lane will carry late game team fights if you're able to get them ahead early, you could just play for. The team fights front to back so we can technically right now we're going for baron that works Slow paced game. Not going to lie. Alright, we're going Baron. That's a throw. Oh, never mind. Because I thought they hit plant, they all had vision.
That's a throw! Yeah, I knew it. It's just a throw because J4 can EQ at any time. Even me being there, it makes it rough. I knew it. I knew it. It wasn't a good play to start with. It's literally just, it wasn't a good play to start with. Should have left as soon as uh, that dude. Oh. They didn't even take Baron. Oh, they did. Alrighty. This game's just a cringe fest. It's worth. It just was a bad drizzle. Sorry, it's the first game of the day and I'm exhausted. Oh. That's why I've been missing so many cannons. <laughs> Actually. But I thought they had no vision. Because they hit the plant and then J4 goes mid. What world does that ever happen? And if they were spotted and the HP was like 5k on Baron, they should have just turned. But I still think we're fine. Can't contest vision alone, boys. What are we doing? 1.5. Oh, we're playing for drag that. That works. I guess. See if we get this cannon. We do. Nice. Got Sherid to gouge. And we got Lulu. The higher... I swear, higher vision score than Soraka, and we're the one with the lead. I don't expect a lot. No sweeper? Alright, that's fine. Uh, where they at? Damn, they took a dump on our back line. Alright, we got that guy. Triple kill? It might be Penta. That's unofficial Penta. Jesus. Unofficial Penta. <laughs> Laugh my fucking... Oh, man. That's hilarious. We just got him one at a time. And then that should be Rabadons. Oh, close. Actually kind of sad. I wanted Rabadons off that recall. After all that tragicness, what wins us the game in the end is sloppy team fighting. Oh man, I really want it so badly. How much does this sell for? 160? Alright. I need it. Is he gonna smite it? Yeah. Alright, that's massive. At this point, I just delete 
Kaisa and Lulu. Because Lulu took Ignite instead of Exhaust. I pinged them off so they shouldn't fight that. Now we just control. The ideal goal here is to have vision control. Play for picks. I mean, it's typical assassin stuff. Play for picks. Yeah, that works. Mid push with bot lane. Oh, protobelt buff. No, I'm doomed. Yeah, I'm doomed, but uh, pff, is it worth? We get mid and bot inhib, so I think it's worth. I knew picks were coming. Because they wanted to rotate mid. So I caught them in the middle of their rotation. Got some picks. I think we should just reset here. Come out with the trundle. Come out with the trundle. One person goes top, the rest go mid. Do we still have Baron for like a minute? Or do we never take Baron? Hell yeah, I forgot. Guys, I need to just rest. I need to rest. <laughs> I lost track of what's happening. Get Baron shoved top, correct. Oh no, Soraka got caught. Doing, I have no clue what. With 29 vision score as a support. I am about to beat her in vision score. Jinx is about to beat her in vision score. What is going on? Yeah, yeah look for it. Easy. Just gonna look for a pick midway through them trying to steal Baron. Mm, Kiana's bot side, so we can look for the engage. I just need an ER. Oh, flash. I just zoned their backline completely from the fight. And Lulu flashed, so I did my job as an assassin. Now I have nothing, so I play front to back. Try to get a Jinx the kill. Try to get Jinx a kill to reset off of. And now bot lane should be focusable since my bot lane's still alive. We win the fight off of that, and I think that should be the game. Nice. Like, comment, subscribe. I'm out. Oh no. Oh no. Yeah. Unfortunate. Feels bad for Yone. Hey guys, what do you want? Oh, the diamond section. We're in the diamond section. We're in the diamond section of this video. Represent diamond correctly and play good. All right. And in this lane, we're playing against Graves. Elaine, I will say medium difficulty. He's a pain, definitely, though. But ever since the nerfs, he went from, like, S tier to B tier. So he's a lot more manageable. Um, yeah, let's get into this. They got the Sleeper OP Amumu support, which is S tier, especially in Korea. And typically, hopefully, I just don't want to get AFK shoved under tower by Graves because that's kind of what he's good at. And then just match his shove at the same time, queuing him as he's looking for autos on the wave to give Viego opportunities to gank. I don't think we can contest Scuttle Crab since it's Kindred early on. We have to worry about, uh, 
Okay, he takes autos on me. Smart. That's not good. Wow. We have to worry about possibly Viego getting counter jungled, if I'm being real. Typically, Viego just full clear, so I'm not expecting to get ganked when Grazel just shove. Because it's Viego, you kind of have to adapt to whoever your jungler is and what they're trying to accomplish early game. Try to farm this. Alright, that's good. We have Karthus bot. Hmm. Sounds on. What this guy's doing? Alright. Full clearing. Not bad. It's Kindred, so... Yeah, he is a pain early on. I'm gonna have to miss a minion to get the cannon. Yes. All calculated. Guys, 50 gold is worth better than... 21. It's the math. You guys have to know about... Uh, I don't think I can. Being honest, pre-first back, I feel like we can't really kill Grace. Uh, I might be able to play for Shove, and then we can play for Scuttle Crab, if I'm being honest. Yeah, the fact that I shoved in Graves is like... Is massive. Take him, take him, take him! As soon as we get one kill, we win this fight. Oh. Or not. I need my W? Yes! Ah, that was beautiful. Just beautiful, guys. So, I wanted to shove in the wave since I knew Viego was contesting Scuttle. And the fact that we did that. Game changing. Really good. The wave is probably really doomed, though. I will say that. Um, Viego got a kill. Who got a kill? Graves did. So, I, I'm, I'm actually more ahead than him. So, that's good. That's good. Perfect. I don't know if they win that. To be honest, it's hard to... Oh, they do. Karthus ADC is something I see here and there. But yeah, now he has vamps up. Smart. Does that means he can start sustaining my Q damage. And now I'm just going to play more on the aggressive side of things. Oh, I should have known. Didn't have a ward. Didn't have a ward. Because I just got to lane and it was shoving. So, I mean, that's smart. And you know I was going to play aggressive. It's my bad. Tilt her. That's just my bad. And he had a level on me since my wave was doomed. Oh, why am I so bad? Oh my god! Oh. Keep it PG-13. I'm very bad. I'm actually kind of tilted from that. Mm -mm -mm. Alright. I think Kindred should be topside. Yeah, just in general. Since he'll probably be going for uh man. Kill. Probably be going for top mark. Hit him too there. Okay, he didn't go for top mark, but I I just know he's top side. Oh yeah, yeah, he is. Smite it. You win that, you win that. Get him! Hit him where it hurts, buddy. Ult that guy. Ult that guy. Oh, you already ulted. That was bad. I need my ignite before I could look to kill Graves. And I'm being honest. This dude. I'm trying to get level 6 really quickly. What? I swear I used E. Oh, that's perfect! Oh, that's not good. Wait! Oh, you're cracked! You're cracked! You're cracked! Woohoo! Oh, man, the fiesta. Right, that's not good. I think we're chilling. But yeah, we were getting ganked. 
guy came for the counter gank. That's just the hectic environment you have to adapt to in the higher ranks. Just them always wanting to fight, always taking advantage of you wanting to play aggressive with no flash, stuff like that. So very good, very good. The fact that we got our jungler ahead is massive. It's Viego. Am I recording? All right, I am perfect. And playing for shove and roam. Can I get the XP? Nice. See if I could do it. Oof, Leona's roaming. Wow. Nice roams, I guess. Perfect. If you can take the shield off, I'll come and get it. It's better we take it instead of Kindred. And I mean, I'm Diana, so I actually takes I, I take camps pretty efficiently because of my passive. It puts me ahead in XP since I don't really lose much mid and I can collect the wave. Oh, you want to go for it? That's that's even more proactive. Man, I love just roaming supports. They're so cracked and good and goaded. Nice. I do ignite just in case. Um, that's good. Did he did he ignite me? I don't want to die because I know Mumu's hovering in river. Looking to kill along with Kindred. So we just have to recall there with the reset wave. <sighs> I don't know if I want to play for Shove and Roam versus playing with my jungler and just following up on whatever play he's trying to do. It's probably going to be more consistent. Just trying to play for Pryo and then... Yeah, Graves hurts. Jeez. Maybe we can look bot. Viego's bot side, so I know. Yeah, if Kindred's here, I'm not too worried. It's good cheese. It's good sauce. Well, there's the ulti. Perfect. We got to get in this reset off. So that way it's quicker we can kill the Kindred. Psst, nice. Um, we gave shutdown gold. So, I guess it's not the best thing in the world, but... We are up a level on Graves. Perfect. They're tilted off their mind. Let's enable that. So that way I could hear them tilt at each other. Graves, you are horrible. Giving Diana Pryo at levels 4. Losing a scuttle fight. Scuttle fights become the game. In high diamond plus because you just snowball out of control like this team taking objective after objective roam after roam with jungler mid laner four man diving bots all that jazz it... that's why the early game matters a lot and you have to kind of create a hypothesis for how you want to play the lane and what win conditions you have to play for Ooh, okay, let's ignore that Q. And look, look, they're fighting again. We just want to roam to it. And we're playing that. Oh, we didn't have enough mana or ignites. I have no mana. At least we stopped Graves from coming down there. But yeah. And then now that you get your team ahead, they just snowball. They start invading. Legit, that early game, it just it snowballs. You're playing a game of snowballs. It's kind of doomed though. Graves is an easy kill for Viego, Yone, or myself. But no, no, I lied. That's when he gets Eclipse. That's when he becomes more unkillable. That's what I was afraid of anyways. But he didn't have Eclipse, so I just try to go for the one shot. <clears throat> He's going to go for the cannon? Man, that's kind of greed. It's 
kind of greed. <laughs> That's kind of greed. Like, I expect that in silver, but you know what happens in diamond too? <laughs> you really have that much ego? You can't let go of cannon? Oops! Another play where I tank two tower shots. I think I'm silver. Guys, silver players aren't even that bad in my opinion. They're not. They just get bad teammates all the time. Like, I get lucky, you know what I'm saying? Oh. I don't know if we win this, though. Saving my third auto? Oh, man. I was saving my third auto for when the passive ended. Or Kindred's ult. I should have went in quicker. I thought that was Yo uh, Leona instead of Viego. But yeah, now mid goes bots for tower play. Yeah, mid goes bots. Because me being an assassin all splitting is best. I could sweep as I clear rivers going towards mid or objectives. My bot lane goes mid to take tower platings there. And yeah, they can just control the map with vision control. And we'll, let's see if they... Someone holds them hostage at 15. <laughs> we'll see. But yeah, just... They're cracked. Good job, everyone. Technically, I will say this game is still losable. They have to play towards like a... A win condition being us messing up. Because Kindred Graves Lucian. We have Leona for armor, but... Yeah. Okay, he has Eclipse, so killing... Graves is a bit harder. Unless I have Ignite. It's like the one thing I will maybe play for. gonna get eclipse oh I wanted to walk away Q him and then E on to him but I needed my ignite oh wait no I could maybe I could have just ulted him I swear he would have just eat away that's what he was saving his E for it's my ult hmm it's fine Oh, we got it. Graves! Don't give them confidence, guys. Keep the stomp. Alright. Guess we didn't even need, uh... We didn't even need, uh, Ignite. But, side platings? Side towers, I mean, give, like, 500 plus gold. You get pretty massive. Yeah, 550. So, side landing on Diana is good if you can beat them 1v1. But most of the times, like, a, a bruiser will match you. And if the bruiser is fed, it's like... I don't know if you really want to side lane against a bruiser. But now we can get Zonius hopefully off this back. I'm so sad. Kindred actually lived that. Oh, man. And I will take this gold. Thank you very much, Yon. Take it for me. All right. You're, yeah, you, you can take the solo gold. I respect you. Thank you. But yeah, that's typically what you want to do as an assassin, like a Diana. Even Fizz does this. Talon does this. Well, yeah. Just bruisers and assassins. Bruisers is more splitting for towers. Diane is a split pusher because of her passive. It's really good. She's a better split pusher than someone like Fizz. But you want to shove out side lanes, sweep the rivers with your sweeper, and then go to mid fights from a flank, and then try to go for their most important targets. Right now, it's Kindred. All their targets are good besides Amumu, if I'm being real, but Kindred, Graves, or Lucian. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. That's what we're gonna do. 
Sweep him up. That's what I'm talking about. I don't know if anyone will be bought. If it's a Mumu, yeah, I can't. I can't all in him. He wants to get hit by my passive, so that way the tower focuses me, and then he can kill me. Then got to poke him out with this. Go like that. He has no Amar, that's why. Well, I needed to Q him a couple of times. I couldn't 100 to zero him, especially if he landed his aftershock. Yeah, Kindred's after me. Alright. What is this sassy? He's cheating. Literally. His name. Chinese booster. It's over. Go next. Why are they why is my team holding me hostage? Literally holding me ho no, I'm just playing. I'm just playing. <laughs> it's a joke. It's a joke. I swear people would like it's either, you know, Japanese, Korean, Chinese, um Yeah, they just <laughs> It's either they're professional boosters or they're win traders. It's one of the two. I'm being honest, Kindred's pretty he, he played the game correctly. The thing is is there's it, the, Graves didn't play the lane correctly. He was supposed to play for Pryo at level four to help his jungler, but he didn't. So yeah, it's like he had his chance. That it was his chance. He messes up once, and that could, you know, that, that could literally be the game, which it technically was. If my team wants to throw, all right, we'll take drag. Uh, all right, I probably should have taken drag and then look for Gromp. My bad. My bad, big dog. 1 and 11 of Mumu. I mean, they did get first blood. Oh, they got first blood top lane. Now, let's see if they go for... Usually at this point, it's either they want to go mid or bot. Since we have vision control, assassins are really good at just... Taking um, control when they have no vision. I don't even want to ult. I don't want to ult or ignite. It's a waste. If I was Graves, I would have just gotten Merc Treads. Obviously, I'd still one-shot him, but I just need to ignite and ulti. But, yeah. Alright, let's see if they FF at 20 since someone was holding them hostage at 19. What is happening? What is this guy saying? I don't know. <laughs> if I can take bot inhib, that's pretty massive. Then we could just group top and then play for that. Hold that guy. Yeah, we got that sussy baker. We got that guy really good. Ha! <laughs> I meant to type rocked. This guy is delusional, honestly. What? Me getting camped? This guy's on something. I don't even know. <laughs> Mad. <laughs> what is this? Guy? I didn't even get ganked. I just mechanically, macro wise, just the dominated him at the level four fight at River and just snowballed out of control. Nah, he's just mad. Easy. He's just mad. Come on, guys. He is absolutely mad. This guy is saying nonsense. He's just admit you're terrible. Yeah. That's what he has to do. 
Just admit he's terrible and his macro is terrible. My bad. I'll focus this guy because I want to tilt him. Oh! Bam! Double kill. He's mad off his mind. That's why I love diamond. And just like that, they forfeit. That's how to get to diamond in two hours with Diana. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. And I'll catch you next time. I'm out. Comment the next champ you want to see below.